welcome back to my channel and to today's video. So I've got a little bit of a mad um, set to do that I'm going to do today um, and all will become clear in a moment but I just wanted to take this opportunity because um, I have been doing this with quite a lot of my sets now but I've got my tips all ready on my um, FX4 hand from Nail Tech Supplies and I just wanted to show you how I do them. So I apply the base nails that come with the hand and you can buy separately and they are effectively just coffin nails that you stick on, you use the primer that come with the hand, stick on the base nails, you can then work straight onto them or you can cut down and extend. But what I have been doing for a lot of my video sets so that I can keep them is I've been using these press-on nails from Glitter Planet. So these are the stiletto ones. You can also get them in square. Um, and they just come in the box like this. Lots and lots of different sizes. Um, and all I've been doing is applying a nail guard, which I got from Amazon. I got a huge box. Apply the nail guard and then just glue the tips onto the nail guard and then I can just take the stiletto tips off and keep them. It's not always the easiest to get them off and I have managed to do some damage to the nails or the fingers as you can see where I've pushed down with a cuticle pusher and I've gone in the back instead of between them. But I find if you don't do glue the whole back of this tip, you just sort of glue a little bit and then let it spread. It gives you enough of a gap there just to get your cuticle pusher in to remove these tips. So I just wanted to show you that um, and how I do it. Apologies, this hand's got a little bit of a funny angle um, so it doesn't sit great sometimes. So I'll probably spend the whole video fiddling with it. So that is what I am doing when I work with this hand. When I use my hand dolly hand, the tips just slide in. So that's nice and easy. So moving on to today's set and um, you can probably tell I'm doing this introduction slightly differently just because of how I wanted to introduce it. <laughs> But I have got these fabulous decals from the lovely Bev, Queen of Decals. And some of you may recognize this design um, because it is uh, inspired by the amazing Villanelle from Killing Eve. Now, I absolutely love this show. I'm not quite up to date with all of season two yet. So, you know, come on, no spoilers in the comments or anything. Um, but I absolutely loved it. So when I saw Bev had done these decals inspired by her fabulous pyjamas, I was like, got to have them. So that is what today's set is going to be sort of based around. But I was thinking, I just don't want to do full hand of decals because this is me. You know me, I like to show off several different things in a video. What could I do to go with it? So I was thinking, how can I make it a Villanelle set? And let's face it, she is pretty out there with some of her costumes and disguises. So after a little bit of thought and oh, what shall I do? I am going to combine it with this gorgeous pink glitter which I got from the Glitter Fair. This is the VIP Mix 2 from last year's May box and I'm gonna go with this glitter inspired by the iconic pink sort of ballerina-y type dress that she wore in season one and I know it's a major clash and I know you wouldn't automatically put them together but I just thought that was Villanelle. So I'm going to do two nails with the decals and then I'm going to do a couple of sort of glittery ombres. So <laughs> that would be a good time to get started. So for this set I'm also using Team Gorgeous Clear Candy, Whipped Cream and Prosecco Pink which is a gorgeous sparkly pink cover powder. So starting off, I am going in with whipped cream on this nail and the pinky nail. Uh, these are going to be my decal nails, so I'm just putting a nice thin base of white to put the decals 
on top of. Um, now I do know Bev has got some decals coming very very soon which are special printed ink and they won't require the white base. But for now the decals do need the white base. So I'm working nice and thin, uh, nice and wet and the this white from Teen Gorgeous is so pigmented that you can literally paint it on and you get really good coverage. Um, and because you've got to cap the decals at the end, you don't want to be adding loads and loads of bulk. So I'm um, just a nice wet bead. I've neatened the cuticle and then I'm just dragging and painting it down the nail. Um, just going in where it might be a tad patchy where I've sort of started to run out of product so that I've got a nice um, finish to it and then I'm going to leave those two nails to set and I'm just going to start my nail beds on the middle two and these are going to be my uh, pink glitter fades so I've started off with a small bead of Prosecco pink which I have placed at the cuticle and then I've made that cuticle nice and neat dragged the rest of the product down the nail and then I've just gone in with a second small bead uh, to bring that fade just past the natural free edge. So, how I would do my fade, so nice, not a huge bead, placing it just above the cuticle and then I'm pressing it back and pressing it around, keeping it nice and flat so that I can um, encapsulate at the end, getting that nice cuticle shape and then I'm just pulling the rest of the product down and sort of blending, feathering it out. So there's no bulk, got a nice um, fade uh, to add my glitter just gone in with another small bead um, just to even that line up and then I'm gonna leave that to set and go back to my decal nails so small wet bead of clear acrylic over the entire nail this works as a glue basically you could go straight on to the colored acrylic I think they had a bit of dust or something in there I uh, could go straight on top of the white but I just prefer to use clear and then I'm going to slide the decal off the backing I'm going to place it at the cuticle and then I'm very gently very very gently going to press it and pat it and sort of pull it into place now you can stretch these decals a certain amount to get a better coverage on the nail which is just what I'm doing here but I'm doing it very 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 gently because I don't want to rip it or tear it or anything like that uh, and when I'm happy with it I've got all the wrinkles out it's nicely stuck down the nail is full fully covered from side wall to side wall cuticle to tip I'm gonna do it exactly the same so slide it off if you have soaked your decals in water you want to drain off the excess but because I placed them on that cotton pad there is not much excess but if they feel quite wet just just blot them on your kitchen roll and here you see I'm just patting pressing pulling and then I'm just going to leave that for a moment to stick whilst I go in and add my glittery fade uh, and I, I thought this glitter was lovely. I've not used it. You think this is from a VIP bag last year and I've not used it yet. So all I'm going to do on these two nails is a glitter fade. So working at the tip and then just fading it down over that cover pink. Not all the way, just a little way. Um, so it's small wet bead of clear acrylic. Dip the tip of my brush into that raw glitter and then I'm just using it to move the glitter around Sort of give it a good old prod and poke get it how I want it Working in small beads. It's very chunky glitter with lots of different shapes and um, Always patting it down pat 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 uh, Keeping it nice and flat. So I'm going to do exactly the same on this nail another nice little glittery fade and then when I'm happy with that and I've let that glitter just set into place I am going to cap all four of these nails I'm going to file them into shape refine them make them look lovely and uh, then I will be back with you
So here they are, all filed, dusted, looking lovely. And now I'm gonna use my Team Gorgeous glue and my Crystal Katana. And I'm going to be using this very, very pretty little Candy Floss Pearl Mix from Crystal Parade. And I'm just going to use a mixture of sort of white, pearly and pink pearls. <laughs> pearly pearls. <laughs> um, just around the cuticle to do a little pearl tiara on the two glittery nails just you know just for a little bit of um interest really something different uh so i'm just go around just yeah just going with it going with it so uh as i said these pearls are from crystal parade they are beautiful and they are very small so they they do look very nice on the nail they're not big big pearls that can look a bit out of place um, and I do have a discount code for Crystal Parade. It is Helen5, so be sure to check the description box for that. So I'm just going to finish off the little pearly tiara on this nail, and then we'll be back for my favourite part. Well, yes, as always, I'm using my Flexi Top Gel from Team Gorgeous because it is my favourite. And don't forget, you can use my discount code CINDAHELLY for 5% off at Team Gorgeous. A little bit of a hair there. But I'm just applying a nice thin coat of this top gel to all of these nails, butting right up to those pearls. Um, I'm not going to go over them. I suppose you probably could go over them because they don't have the same sort of shine as crystals, but... I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and when they are all top coated, I'm going to pop my hand in my LED lamp to cure for 60 seconds. And then this is my Villanelle design complete. And I absolutely love them. In fact, the decals and those that glitter does go really nice together. So to finish off your service, once that top coat has cooled, make sure you go in with your cuticle oil or as always, and make your nails all the way for me. And that is this design inspired by the fabulous Villanelle Complete. So I do hope you have enjoyed this video and you like this set. Uh, please drop me any comments down below. Check the description box for the products used, links, discount codes and all that information. Please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe. Don't forget to click subscribe. And I will see you again very soon. Bye. Mwah.